Hey -o. My name is Isabella or Tour Guide Isabella. Today you guys are gonna be watching my 25 fun facts about myself. I hope you guys find these interesting. It took me a while to actually comprise this list because I don't know what to say about myself. But I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. Okay. So fact number one about myself is pretty basic. My major is psychology. I'm double minoring in biology and chemistry down the pre-medical track. So that's pretty basic information about my schooling. So that was fact number one. Fact number two, I'm a Taurus sun, um, Gemini moon, Scorpio rising. I can never remember what I am. I just know that I'm a Taurus sun. Um, I know that they're the best signs. I'm an April Taurus, so like, I don't know if that means anything, but I'm not like the best with astrology. I know a lot of people are, so I just threw that, that one in there for y'all. Fact number three is my favorite artist of all time is Lord. She is literally amazing, and my favorite song ever is Ribs by Lord. On my water bottle, um, I have like this little Spotify sticker that like scans, like you can like put your phone up to it and it scans straight and takes you straight to the song in Spotify. So love that song. Um, I just love the meaning behind it. Also, like it just it's like so melodic, but it also is so hype at the same time, if that makes any sense. Um, I loved Pure Heroin Extended, like that whole album, I know word by word. Melodrama was good, not my favorite though. And she just put out this new song called Solar Power. Mm -mm, not it, that song's not it. Um, but Pure Heroin Extended and Melodrama were really good. Um, so not really impressed by her Solar Power song. Sorry to, if, to people if you are. Fun fact number four, this one's gonna get a lot of people. Um, I raised livestock in high school. So in high school, I raised four goats, two pigs, and a steer, which is like a cow, um, throughout my four years of high school. I did that because I was in a club known as um, FFA, Future Farmers of America. I'm gonna get so much, I bet I'm gonna get so many laughs on this one, um, but it was a club that I was in. I was in it with all my friends. There was also leadership um, positions that we did, leadership um, competitions and career development competitions that we did. So it wasn't just focused on the animals. However, that was like a pretty large part of it. Um, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. I learned a lot from that experience and now my sister does it. So I influenced her, honestly. Fun fact number five, my biggest phobia is wet hair. And you might be thinking, how do you take a shower? It only happens when the hair is like detached from the body. So if I know some girls like to like shampoo their hair and like take it out or condition their hair and take it out and like go like that and put it on the wall. I would literally rather rip my skin off than do that. Um, when I was a kid, I could not go into public pools or like swim and put goggles on because if I saw hair, I would get out immediately and like freak out. Like I couldn't do it, I would like panic. That's why I don't really like water parks that much, or like public pools. The ocean is fine because you don't really, you don't see it because it's so big. But um, literally it's disgusting. Like if I see it in the, in like in the sink, in the shower, I, I have to have someone else get it. I will literally like call my mom back home. Be like, mom, please. Because my sister doesn't care about the hair in the shower, but I do. Fun fact number six, my favorite drink or go-to drink at a coffee shop is a chai tea latte. They smack. The best one is during um, the winter time. I'll get like a chai tea latte with pumpkin syrup in it. So good, really sweet, but good. Fun fact number seven, I've been to five countries outside of the US, Canada, Ecuador, the Bahamas, Mexico, and Costa Rica. Um, I wanna keep traveling more. Um, now that COVID is kind of coming down, I'm gonna try to go out like of the country next summer. Hopefully if I have the money and I have the means of traveling, I will do that. Speaking of traveling, fun fact number eight is um, where would I live or if I could live anywhere outside of New York City, where would I want to live? And that would be um, the countryside of Italy. I've been seeing a ton of like cute TikToks um, of girls like living their lives there. And it just seems so freaking cute and gorgeous and like quiet. And just, I want that. Like I want to make homemade pasta and drink like wine on like by a vineyard, you know, of course when you're 21. But I just want that. That looks so nice, right? I don't know, I just want that so badly. Fun fact number nine, I have two pets back home. I have a Great Dane who I absolutely adore with my whole entire life. I'm so excited to see her. I'm going home in two and a half days and she's gonna be so excited to see me. I, she's like my child and every time she sees me, like when I'm gone for a long period of time, she gets so excited. Like 
is like crying and like is jumping on me and hugging me, love her. And I also have a little cat, um, his name is Bruner, so it's Gracie and Bruner. Um, he's just a little like tabby cat, I love him. He's a little bit sassy, but once I get to see him again, he like starts to warm up, it takes him a second though. Fun fact number 10, um, I have a younger sister, I've been talking about her a couple times throughout this video already. Her name is Milana, she is a rising junior in high school, so we're four years apart, so I'm a rising junior this year in college, and she's a rising junior in high school. Um, I'm really trying to convince her to come to Pace when she visits me, or when she did visit me for um, like Thanksgiving break back in November. She like fell in love with the city, she fell in love with my friends, and like my life here, so I'm really hoping she'll come back soon. I think she's trying to come back like sometime this summer, and I want her to like see the summer here. I want her to take a tour at Pace. So maybe I can convince her, you know? I don't know. Fun fact number 11, I am from Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas, baby. Um, yeah, I don't think it's that exciting, but when I tell people I'm from Houston, Texas, it's just like, yo, that's so cool. And I'm like, yeah, I guess. What is cool though is Beyonce is coming out of there, Meg Thee Stallion, Travis Scott, and Lizzo. Those are my like top four people that I can think of right now. Um, and also me, Isabella Ferrara. So, a lot of, lot of baddies on there that came from Houston. Fun fact number 12. Yeah, I don't know. I have seven piercings. So I have three here and then three, or I'm sorry, can I count? Four here and three here. Um, my cartilage is was so painful in the beginning. I think it took like over a year for it to like fully heal. Um, but yeah, it's there and it's thriving and it doesn't hurt anymore. My mom did not like my three piercings in the beginning. I don't think she still does honestly, but I guess we'll never know. <laughs> Um, no, I, I love them. I'm obsessed with like piercings, especially in the summer with like gold hoops and like, ah, oh, I just love it. My dream activity, this is, oh, I'm sorry. Let me start. Fun fact number 13. My dream activity to do ever would be to go on a helicopter ride over New York City. I think that'd be really, really freaking cool and fun and just like a great experience to do with like friends or someone. So that is a dream of mine and I will vlog it when I do it. Fun fact number 14, my favorite genre of movie is horror movies. I love horror movies. I'm a huge horror, like, horror movie junkie. Like I can do, um, I can binge it. I love going to th the theater. Watching it in theater is like a whole different vibe. Um, I, when I go home, I wanna see The Conjuring 3 um, in theaters with one of my friends and I think it would be so like fun. I love like having that, that, that scary vibe with everyone. Like I love when like people are yelling or like, oh my gosh, when they get jump scares because I think it's so funny. Um, but I just love it. I, and fun fact actually about horror movies is because it causes so much adrenaline within your body, you actually lose weight when watching them. Like it burns calories. So I'm like skinny and watching movies. Heck yeah. So, and my favorite horror movie, I don't know which one it is. I really like the Insidious series a lot and the Scream series. Those ones are good. The Scream isn't too scary. Love those, love Saw. Um, Animal 2, it was really scary. I don't know, I really, I'm a huge horror movie person, so. Number 15, fun fact 15, my favorite pizza places are And Pizza, which is a chain and not originated from New York City. Best pizza I've ever had, I'm not kidding, go get it. It's like a Subway, but for pizza. And then Prince Street Pizza, chef's kiss. Fun fact number 16, um, my favorite area in New York City is the West Village. I love the West Village because it's such a cozy, warm vibe, but it's also in the city, which is really nice. So if you're ever tired of that, you can always just go out and take the train and get the, that big city skyscraper feel. But there, I just love the brownstones. I, the coffee shop's really good. I don't know, I just, I don't know what it is. You just have to go there and it's just a cozy, warm vibe, if you know what I mean, so. Fun fact number 17. Um, my goal in life is to be a forensic psychiatrist. So I, after four years of undergrad, I have to go to four years of medical school. Then after medical school, I would do about four years of psych psychiatric residency. And then after residency, I would do about two to three years of a forensics fellowship. So, that sounds like so much. I'm gonna cry. Mm -mm. 
Mm-mm. Fun fact number 18, my go-to shoes are my Air Forces. Um, I wear my Nike Air Forces every single day. They go with everything, they're cute. You can dress them up, dress them down, it doesn't matter, I wear them every day. This is my second pair because my first pair was so bad, it like just was gross and stunk, so. Fun fact number 19, my favorite workout activity is cycling or just in general, like biking. I love taking cycling classes. Um, I also love city biking along the West Side Highway. It's like pretty close to my apartment. So if I'm ever bored, I'll just hop on there, go along the water and just like put in my music and just vibe. I love bike riding. Just, it's really nice and it like you work out and you also get to have a fun time while doing so, so. Okay, I might get bullied for this next one. Fun fact number, oh my gosh, what fun fact are we on? 20, um, I don't know if I've been counting the other ones. But fun fact number 20 is my favorite movie ever is Pitch Perfect. I know. Um, I don't wanna hear the hate. When that movie first came out, I was in sixth grade, I remember. And I saw that movie, I'm not kidding, 10 to 12 times in the theater, I can't remember. But every time my family went to go see a movie, cause my family like saw a lot of movies growing up in the theater, I would always be like, okay, I'm gonna go watch Pitch Perfect. I would go alone. I'd be like, I'm watching this movie because I loved it so much. Like I loved the cast, I loved the music. Like by the time it was out of theaters, I knew like every word. So biggest Pitch Perfect fan. One of my favorite activities, oh, this is fun fact number 21. One of my favorite activities ever is when I'm at home, I, um, when I'm at home, I go, in my car, windows down, music blasting, blaring, blaring music, um, singing my lungs out at sunset. I just, I don't, I love doing that. I do that like every night when I'm back home with especially one of my best friends, um, Sydney. We always do that. Like we're, if we're ever bored and it's late and we're like, okay, let's go, let's go on a drive. And we just talk and we listen to music. And it's just like such a like therapeutic time to like get out stressed or like to talk about something that like has been on my mind. Like, I don't know, I just love it so much. It's the best feeling and I cannot wait to go home. I already have music that I like know I'm gonna like blare in the car, so. Happier by Olivia Rodrigo is one. Yeah. Fun fact number 22, my celebrity crush is Jacob Elordi. I am obsessed with that man. He is from Euphoria and in the kissing booth, but he looks so good in Euphoria. I love him and I want to marry him. If you're seeing this, Jacob, Call me. Number 23, my biggest pet peeves that I could think of like right off the top of my head are people who are late. I hate people who are late. I, it pisses, it like pisses me off because I'm like, come on, like we have a schedule, we have a plan. You cannot just do that. Slow walkers, no. In the city, like especially when I'm walking by myself and I have my music in and I have to be somewhere, especially work and there are people in front of me, like I have to get around tours. I'm like, move. Slow drivers, hate it. I'm always speeding back home. Is it a good thing? No, it's not, but I do it. And I don't like when people are slow in front of me, so. And then I also cannot stand loud chewers. Cannot stand it. When people are loudly chewing, I like cringe. I'm like, oh my God. The worst is when my mom does it. I like, she doesn't even do it on purpose. Like, but when she's like normally chewing, like, I'm like, please stop. And question number 24, or sorry, fun fact number 24. Um, I'm a type A person, so I don't know if you guys know what type A, type B type people are, but I'm a type A person. So that means I'm very, very organized. I need to have a schedule. If I don't have a schedule, I become very anxious. Um, I always have something to do in my life. I'm very on time, very punctual, very like organized. Um, without a schedule, my life would be like in shambles. My roommate's always like, I don't know how you do it. I'm like, I don't know how I do it. Like there are times when I'm exhausted, but I have to keep going, going, going. And yes, I have like some free time that I like put off, but most of the time I need to be doing something or else it stresses me out when I'm not. Yeah, if I'm not doing something, it stresses me out, so. And my last fun fact, fun fact number 25, you made it. If you guys made it to the end, thank you so much, oh my gosh. But this is my favorite phrase that I live by. Um, I say it all the time, I don't know if it, I started it, I don't know, this is a very generic saying, but my friend Joe is like, Izzy always says this. Um, a phrase that I like to live by is called, um, it's called, is it's the little things in life. So I, I wanted to end on like a good note, but 
I feel like in life, sometimes we all get caught up in so, such like fast motion things, especially in New York City. And something that I really like appreciate is when I take a step back from my life and I like really do appreciate the little things in life and see the value in the small things such as like a small text or going on a sunset walk or you know someone cooking you dinner having like watching a movie with someone like college is there's so much going on and just to take apart and like really look at those small like moments that you have with your friends and your family that's what means the most in life to me so I know that might be cheesy for some people, but I genuinely love that phrase, like appreciate the little things in life. And um, I know it's helped some of my friends, so I hope it can maybe help some of y'all. Well, if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching my 25 fun facts about me. Again, my name is Tour Guide Isabella. If you guys have any questions for me, I'm gonna leave my Instagram down below or in this frame. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know me a little bit better. If you guys ever see me on campus or you guys ever have a tour with me, say hey. Um, yeah, but thank you guys for watching. See y'all later.